In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what you can do with Spooner, what you can but should not do with Spooner, and how to set up a simple Y map for your server. I have linked the Spooner I use in the video description, so if you don't already have one, you can download it there. Before we start, you should obviously start your Spooner resource and um, check the Spooner permissions. So let's have a look in Spooner. When you press delete on your keyboard, your Spooner opens and you see a lot of controls at the bottom of your screen. You can now move freely around and, for example, delete this person's horse. But there is obviously much more to Spooner, so let's take a look at that. In our spawn menu, we do have different categories. We have pets, vehicles, objects, prop sets and pickups. I think it is kind of self-explanatory. You can, for example, spawn a pet. When you hover over it and press top, you can open, for example, the pet options and scale it up or down. But this is nothing you can use in a Y map. This is just for like playing around on a roleplay server, for example. The same goes with the vehicles. You can spawn all sorts of buggies, coaches, boats, all that sort of stuff. The object category is the most important for mapping. You can spawn every sort of prop you can imagine. For example, I searched for table, I see all the tables. I can now search for chair and I do get all kinds of chairs, toilet chairs, normal chairs, outside chairs, every sort of chair you can think of. In the prop set category, you can find like sort of pre-made mappings. For example, when we spawn this, you get like this tent with all this decor stuff. And these are individual props you can delete and must delete individually. So I do not work with these in mappings because I don't really know what is going to spawn. And the last category is the pickups category. I never use these and I don't really think they work because as soon as I spawn it, it tells me it's invalid. So I don't think they really work. I don't know what you use them for, actually. We now want to create a little Y map. The first thing you should do is press J and click on these two boxes. And then you can also give it a name and create your save file. For example, tutorial. Then I save it and it is in here somewhere. And then we can start the mapping process. Please make sure you save your files on the process a couple of times because even if you delete something by accident or if your game crashes, you can always press J and look for your save file. Then you click on it and your mapping will be back and you can keep working on it. Once you're happy with your creation, you can export it. So you open your Spooner and you press J again and you press import export. Then you have different export options here. You choose YMAP, press export and copy all of this to a different file. I have this empty file, for example, and I paste everything in here. It will look like this for the time and then you save it and you give it a name and you end the name with dot YMAP. You save it in the folder you just clicked on and then it should look something like this and you know that's right. On your server you create a new folder. Your manifest should look something like this but I will copy what needs to be in your manifest in the video description as well. And then you just place your file in the stream folder and restart your server. Once restarted your mapping should be visible if everything worked for you. Now let's talk about a few things you can do with Spooner but really should not. The first thing is placing props like trees, bushes or any sorts of crops. For example, this palm tree. They won't spawn in a Y map, but you could technically use an XML file for these, which I really do not recommend. A lot of people tell you, yeah, you do need to use XML for these. Please do not put so many XML files on your server. The best thing is don't use any XML files at all because they're really not good for your server's performance. Another thing you can do but really should not is delete things with Spooner because you also need an XML file and as I said before these are really not good for your server. But I can give you an example. I can delete these two flower pots and if I export these now as XML I press export and you see deleted object hash at this position and they will be deleted but it's also not good for your server. Another thing you can but really should not do is use XML files for mapping inside of buildings. 
When mapping inside of a building, you will notice that working with a Y map is not going to work because your props won't spawn or will flicker inside of the building and it's overall just not working. You will read a lot of times that you should just use XML for this, but as I already told you, XML is really not good for your server and is really not recommended. So one way to do it would be using a YMAP to Y-type converter because ultimately a Y-type file is what you need. I will link this converter in the video description down below. It is a bit more tricky than just setting up a YMAP, but there is a good tutorial who explains it, so I think you will be able to figure it out and if not, you can always reach out to us. Now I wish you very much fun with Spooner. There are so many cool things you can create with this. If you ever have any questions, you can always reach out on our Discord. If you ever need any custom props for your mappings, you can also reach out on our Discord. And have fun creating!